Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've been addicted to the web uh, ever since the web kind of sprang out of the internet. Uh, believe it or not, I've been on the internet longer than the web has, or at least the, the web as you know it. First web page I ever browsed was through a text browser that you can still use if you search the web for links, L-Y-N-X. There may be a binary pre-compiled or you can compile it yourself for your operating system. And you can experience today's web by text. No graphics, no music, no video, no anything other than text and ASCII art. And you know I like that. So, um, the other day, uh, we did a video on Cameroid.com, and that is a free website you can go to. Uh, it will connect to your webcam, take a live shot, and then put whatever you have on that webcam into a pre-existing template and make you look like a monkey, Humpty Dumpty, an alien, whatever those templates were. Um, you, you remember when we did the video, and if not, Cameroid.com is where you want to go. Well, I was scanning uh, friend feed the other day and happened upon uh, one of my favorite friends, uh, feeds uh, and her name's Mona and uh, I think she's Mona's feed on friend feed I get Mona's yes if you go to friend feed and you add Mona dude uh, she like knows everything out there that you didn't even realize existed that's how I found photo com. photo p h o t o fun f u n i a dot com and if you go there, it's uh, kind of like a cameroid in the sense that uh, it will allow you to do um, you know, various things with existing images. But what it does is takes one of your images, a photo of yours, and places it within an existing photo to make it a completely new photo. And here, it was, it was running a little slow when I tried to record this video before, so I'm going to do my best to zoom in and illustrate it. So you can essentially, so it looks like reconstruction, you can place a photo, any photo, and it'll look like it was actually placed on the side of this particular building. Uh, there's another another shot here, frame with broken glass. That was actually pretty cool. Uh, uh, so it looks like the photo has been scattered around in front of somebody drinking something, rather. Oh, a little burlesque there. Uh, there's a night shot, so it looks like your photo's up on a billboard at night. Looks like a wall. Oh, look at that. You can put your face inside a, um, you know, like you were taken to prison or something. Uh, there's another photo. You can put yourself on the wall. Oh, look, you can make yourself all classic and everything. So I think you guys are, are kind of getting the idea at this point in time. I think there's a, there's a Paris Hilton somewhere. Oh, look at that. This one's really cool. So it looks like someone's actually sketching your face or whatever you want them to, to sketch for you, the portrait. So all you need is an image. And then head over to photofunnia.com. There is nothing to install. It happens within your browser. And then as soon as that new image is generated, you can just drag and drop it to your desktop or save it. And you, you know, you've got it forever. You've created a new image without any kind of hassle so long as the, uh, the website is working. And as I said earlier, I, uh, I guess it's, it's uh, getting a, a great amount of traffic at this point. Now, the second place I want to tell you about, I found out uh, in, in a... In another, another way, uh, Josh M6946 emailed me, dumper.net, D-U-M-P-R.net. It's very similar to uh, Photofunia in the sense, or, and Cameroid too, where you can take an image and then it'll throw it into a variety of effects. Uh, and this is both free or you could pay for it and get extra effects, but nothing to install. Uh, you can throw your picture inside uh, like a frame so it looks like people are looking at the picture, whatever it is, in a museum, like a Polaroid spread, uh, peeling paint. Uh, there's, a, there's a, I think, a, a slightly better uh, version. That's a photo that someone uploaded and it looks like someone's sketching it. It's kind of neat. Uh, some weave effect that apparently is a pro effect. I don't know why. A photo to sketch. Celebrity paparazzi. So you can take an image and then it looks like someone's holding a camera phone taking a picture of your image. Kind of neat. A Rubik's Cube, Alien Vision, that, that was kind of lame. Uh, well, okay, it's free. Oh, Lomo. And then this one's really neat, too, if you're into Lego at all. It's a premium, but you can take an image, and then it'll apply. This is, I, I'd be interested in seeing other uh, applications that would do something like with the Lego stuff, because what would be really cool is if you upload an image, uh, and then it made the Lego map for you, and then you can go out and you can get those Lego pieces, and you can actually build that image on your own. I mean, some people can do that just by looking at something and then creating it. 
I am not that skilled, so I would need to buy a premium account here, although most of the effects on Dumper.net uh, happen to be free. If you want to pay for it, you can. I guess the first month is free. And another thing that's neat about Dumper is that you can either upload the photo from your computer, grab it from Flickr, or any kind of uh, URL, any image URL that exists on the web. So there's a couple of uh, photo fun websites for you to take a look at, nothing to install. Uh, I didn't need to register for either one of them uh, and uh, was able to have fun pretty much right away. And it's certainly, certainly a far cry from the web that I used to know and love back in the day uh, when I used to finger people for fun. And uh, I'm talking about the fingering of someone's plan. I used to have a plan file. Am I the only one who had a plan? Probably. You know they used to call home pages high plans? Look it up. You think I'm kidding, don't you? You don't think I've been online since 1992. Here, I got a question for you. How many of you in the chat room right now at live.parillo.com, and I know this is going to freak me out. How many of you were born after 1992? Oh, 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 I've been on the internet longer than I bet you some of you have been alive. Oh. Suddenly I feel decrepit. <laughs> Woo. Oh, boy, brings a tear to your eye, doesn't it? My email address is chris at perilla.com. Maybe you know of another fun photo fun photo fun photo fun website or any other website really pass along feel free to do so I'm always interested in taking a look at just about any old link and of course you're also welcome to stop by the chat room we got a gaggle of geeks hanging out typically talking tech watching me ignore them throughout the day because I'm too busy clicking on links that people send me an email and generally discussing the problems that I'm running into here on my desk you never really know what's going to happen. I mean, sometimes, oh, oh, my cap fell off. I bet you didn't know that was going to happen. Okay, granted, that's not as exciting as some of the things that happen around here, but really the only way to find out if it's going to interest you or not is to stop by. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.